I'm your host, Sean McKenzie. Thanks for joining me once again on my channel on data engineering. In this episode, we go back to our Microsoft Access playlist, and we're gonna look at how to open one database file from another database file that you have open already. And uh, this is very, very handy when you have your application open and you wanna actually open a different Access database. Uh, you don't wanna link to it. You know, you don't want to use other methods. You actually want to just open that in your file and make modifications to the, data, to the database or whatever. Uh, so without further ado, let's get to our open one access database from another. Need help or coaching on your project? Make sure to check out my Patreon. The link is in the description. Okay, so I'm opening the same file we've used in the last few uh, episodes. It's this uh, access data uh, .accdb, and I've filtered the list on the left for the word database just because there's a lot of stuff in there we, so we won't see anything now and I've got this other database in the same folder um, that has this little table in it called more candy and and the database or the file is also called more candy more underscore candy and um, so I'm gonna close that so that I can open it another way and we're going to sort of pretend that our app is open here, uh, that we're, you know, that's open for, you know, with our users or whatever. And in this case, uh, we're going to have uh, a function that's going to go open that other database and cycle through some records uh, so that we can see what's in there. So I'll call this, uh, this module open another database and, uh, and then we can start going. So we're going to create a new uh, subroutine here and uh, you could also put this in a function if you wanted to but for now we'll just use a subroutine I'll call it open another database and and uh, we'll we'll uh, say that it opens another database put a comment in there and then we're gonna create some variables um, the first will be an application variable uh, now this is going to be an early binding example um, I can explore early binding and late binding in another episode uh, but for this example this is kind of the, one of the most simple ways that you can do this so we'll we're going to dim a workspace object and we'll dim uh, a database and a record set that'll be kind of like the you know the most basic example that we can do here and uh, and so uh, the record set will just be our usual I'll, I'll specify a DAO record set and uh, and that uh, makes it so we're ready to go. So we're going to set the app uh, variable equal to a new access dot application, and that's going to sort of start a new access application in the background. This is not the only way that you can do this. You can also open up additional workspaces in the same in the same session um, and things like that. But uh, for this example, I'm just going to open a new access application and we're going to set the workspace equal to the app uh, to the database engine uh, workspace zero, which is sort of like the the default uh, workspace for a, a, an access application. And then I'll set the uh, database equal to uh, we're going to use that workspace. We're going to open uh, a database and uh, we'll put in the file path for it and you, there's also some other options in there that you can look at if you wanted to um, you know you can open it read only or you know and and that type of stuff so uh, you just be aware there are some more options for you there and then now we can do kind of like we normally do when we're working with the with the data in in the current database we just just say you know rst equals db dot open record set uh, and then whatever it is, I'll put a open snapshot on the end of it there to make it uh, a read-only, uh, you know, type of, of record set. And um, and then, so we're going to open it, and then at the end of our procedure, we're going to put, you know, we're going to close our record set. We're going to set some variables equal to nothing to, to uh, release some resources. And, uh, and at the very end of it, we'll just put uh, app.quit. And that's actually going to close that access application that's running uh, in our code there that's sort of hidden behind the scenes that opened the file. 
And so, uh, so then what we'll do is uh, we'll use our record set, and we're going to loop through it. So we'll use a do until, which I did in another video if you want to see how to use this do until uh, or do while loops. Um, so we're going to loop through, and make sure you always put a rst.move next uh, so that your loop doesn't go forever, <laughs> uh, or it'll sit forever on the first row. Um, and then we'll just debug.print our candy name uh, from that table that's in more candy. Um, and we'll cycle through the records and we'll just output the candy names into our immediate window there. So we've got our RST uh, record set. We have our, our database variable, which is the ActDB there, our workspace, uh, our workspace object and our app obj application object. And, uh, and so that's really the gist of it. Um, you don't really need to know more than that. Uh, there are other ways of doing it. Uh, make sure you close everything at the end. Uh, so you've got you know, your rst.close and then, and then quit your application. Uh, and, uh, and then we'll just hit go. And, uh, and as you can see, it, it did that. It opened the access database in the background in another workspace. And that's how it's done. Hope you enjoyed today's discussion on how to open one database file from another. If you like what you saw today, please make sure to give the video a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. Click the bell when you see the bell. And if you have any questions or comments, make sure to put those in the comment section below. Have a great day. Have a safe day. And I'll catch you next time.